tea lights. Proper statistics are really hard to come by on this, but it's estimated that up to a billion of these are sold every single year in the UK alone. And I believe that number could be true because I buy probably half a billion of them every year. And the question is not whether you should buy them or not buy them, it is how you dispose of them. And if you put these into your normal trash, you're probably doing it wrong. If you put these into your aluminium or aluminium recycling, you are probably doing it wrong. So, aluminium or aluminium, let's start with the enormity of the problem. If one billion tea lights is right that's being sold in the, in the UK every single year, imagine what it must be worldwide. There doesn't seem to be any official stats on this, so I haven't pulled the number out of my backside. You know, I looked this up on the internet, and that's an estimate. If you do know, I'd love to know what the answer is. But we're working on a billion, and it does seem reasonable. I probably use half a billion myself. So if it is a billion, we're talking about 750 tonnes of aluminium every year. And just so as you know, aluminium or aluminium can be recycled infinitely. And the cost to recycle aluminium is 5% of the energy cost of producing it. So recycling 5% of the energy cost. So it's worth thinking about. You might think this is tiny, it means nothing, but everybody has to do a little and nobody has to do a lot. So it's worth learning how to, how to recycle these things properly. Oh, and please, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please do subscribe, it's free to do so. And if you've seen my videos before and are watching again and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It's completely free and uh, it, it, it means a lot to me. So what I did, I went onto um, our web website of my local authority here in the UK, in the east of England, uh, East Suffolk, and looked on there A to Z of stuff you could recycle. And guess what? Tea lights, not on there. Even though everybody uses them. Mad. Anyway, uh, I've approached them, talked to them about it, uh, and you can see here, spent tea lights. Can these be recycled in East Suffolk? And if so, where do we put them? So they came back with, if all the wax has been separated, then it can be placed in the recycling. However, if there's any wax left, then it can't be recycled. So that's really key. So I then went back again, because there is another question here, and that is, in East Suffolk, anything smaller than a tennis ball is too small to be recycled. So if it's smaller than a tennis ball, it falls through... Uh, whatever sorting machine they have and they can't recycle it. You would need to check to see whether that's the same in your local authority. But where we are, that's what is, uh, is required. So I went back and I said, these can be recycled in the blue bin, that's our recycling bin, but only once the wax has been burnt off or completely removed. Given their size, smaller than the tennis ball, does this not present an issue? So again, they helpfully came back and said, if any wax left in them, they can't be recycled. They need a complete clean and then rolled into the correct size. Okay, so I think what they're trying to say here is, if, you've got, if I'm going to put them in my blue bin, they have to be larger than a tennis ball. And I have to roll them into a ball. So I don't know how you do that. Um, if I can't roll them into, the ball, into a ball, it looks like I can put them in the metal recycling container at the local recycling center. So the question is, how do you get the wax off of tea lights before you recycle them. Well, luckily I had my daughter here for Christmas and it was, it was lovely to do it. We did it within the COVID rules. She was here and, uh, and, and, and as well as sorting out uh, all our Christmas wrapping paper into a tiny pile of stuff that, could, that needed to be thrown away and that was basically sticky tape. But while she was here, we were talking about candles and she showed me this amazing trick where you, where you pour boiling water on a candelabra or a bottle and it literally just washes the wax away. It's like magic. So that's what we're going to try and do with the tea lights and let's see if it works. Okay, so here we are. We have our tea lights, our spent tea lights here. The equipment you're going to require 
a bowl. A colander. Some sort of stirring implement. Here we have some spent tea lights and you can see there's little bits of wax in them. In all of these there's bits of wax. Now, now my people tell me that I cannot put these in the recycling with the wax in them so I have to remove the wax first. You put all your tea lights in the colander. You put the colander into the pot and you boil a kettle and you want it to cover so we may have to boil the kettle again for this if we're going to do it properly which we should so we're going to pour a little bit more water on here just to get that properly all properly submerged because you need it actually in boiling water the reason we have the colander is because the wax rises to the top so um, otherwise we'd have to pick these out individually uh, while the, wa the water is still hot, which we really don't want to do. So, um, so the idea of the colander is we can separate them while they're still in there. And, you know, that is, I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say we're done. And then we literally just take those out of there. So there we have it. Those are done. Uh, so, to my mind, <laughs> it's these still have a little bit of wax on them, to be honest, and it is a bit of a messy job. I'm not sure I would do that again. It worked really well for, for candles, uh, but for, for, for tea lights, it didn't work particularly well. But fear not, there are a couple of other solutions you can try, and this is one, and it's quite a simple one, and what you do is you simply... So take that bit off first, your, your, your bit in the centre, and then squeeze it, and the wax just sort of falls away. Now, whether that's enough wax removed, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but you can do that. And another thing you can do, which I actually do already, is um, I throw my spent tea lights into my chimney uh, in the summer, which I use a lot, and, uh, and it literally burns all the wax off. Then of course, when you take the ashes out, you've got you've got to actually then sort out the tea lights and put them to one side. Um, I mean, I'll do it, but I'm not sure many people would. But let's try the next thing that they say we have to do, at least here in East Suffolk. It says we've got to try and put these into a ball. So here's the ones we did earlier. I don't know, I've, I've tried this. I don't know if you could do it or not. So I've got to get this as bigger than you know, a, yeah, that's, I don't think that's really going to work, you know. I mean, I've got a golf ball there, but I don't know, and it's not steady. You'd be an artist, I think you'd have to, you know, trial and error. And I guess, I don't know, it could be a bit of fun, you know, spending an evening by the telly, or watching telly, squeezing tea lights together till you get, it's sort of, it might work, yeah, work. It's, no, it's gonna fall apart. I don't think it's really gonna work. So, I think, I think really, if you have uh, tea lights, there's two things you're gonna to have to do. One is you're going to have to find a method of getting the wax off. The water, first of all, you've got the water method, which I don't think is perfect. I don't think it's perfect for this. Um, it's a bit messy. I don't think I would do that again. If you haven't got a, a, an open fire or some sort of way of burning stuff outside, like a chimney, um, I think that's probably the best way. If you haven't got that, then a, a, another method would be, you know, the squeezing this method until until the wax sort of falls out. You can do it that way. Um, that would seem to work. But again, it's a bit messy. My, my fingers are all ugh, waxy and horrible. I don't particularly like it. Uh, so you've got that, you've got that. And there is another method as well uh, that makes, that should work with this. I haven't tried it, which is to put them in the freezer 
and then do this and the wax becomes much more uh, crumbly. It, it should fall off a lot easier if you do that. So it's another method for you. Um, and if you've got an idea of actually how to get this off, this wax off, <laughs> then please do comment below uh, so anybody watching this can uh, you know get a better idea and I could I'll always do another video on it if need be uh, but that's what I've got for you once you've done that you need to check with your local authority check to see whether you have to get a tennis ball size I've got about this size now and this it, the bigger it gets the more difficult it is to get this thing to sort of stick stick on so um, and obviously sticking on the sellotape isn't going to work so um, I don't think that's, a, I don't think that's a, a, a way forward if your local authority needs that. And you ought to check. You ought to check. We are talking about 750 tonnes in the UK alone if that billion tea lights number is correct. It's worth checking to get this right, wherever you are. So check with your local authority. Um, and then I would suggest uh, if you can put them, you know, once cleaned or uncleaned, perhaps your local authority allows them to go in and they, and they burn it off. I don't know. Maybe you've got that, but you, you should check. Uh, but for me, I think I'm going to have to burn the stuff off as I do at the moment and, and collect enough to make it worth my while, worth my while to take it to the local um, recycling center or dump, as we used to call them. Uh, here in in, uh, in my in my town so that is what i'll be doing and uh, i hope this has been helpful for you uh, it's been actually interesting for me this time of year we tend to use more candles and tea lights so if you've got a load of tea lights don't just throw them into your trash or your recycling check first check first and remember the biggest threat to this planet is the belief that somebody else will save it. Thank you for watching and if you care about this stuff please do subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, uh, I'd, I'd love to know what you do with yours or if you have better ideas. Happy New Year everybody and hopefully you will see me in next week and indeed next year. Thank you, thank you so much.